fantasies of unloading a revolver into the head of any white person that got in my way, daring their body, and wiping my bloody hands as I walked away relatively guiltless. With a bounce on my step, like I did the world of favor. Let me just start by saying that a theory is just an idea. However, a scientific theory is a scientific fact. You see, there is a difference between the two. So when I talk about critical race theory, I'm talking about an idea. That's all, nothing more. It's not a scientific theory, so it's not a scientific fact. But sadly, when you put theory into the conversation or written narrative, people see legitimacy. So, it seems ironic that so many teachers, lecturers, business leaders and academics find legitimacy in the critical race theory. You'd think learned people would know better, but sadly, frighteningly, they don't. A theory which at its heart says that white people are racist from the cradle to the grave, but they are unable to change, that they harbour white guilt, which can never truly go away, makes the point, however, non directly that white people are somehow marked, are lesser or inferior, are somewhat less human. It is racism, the type of racism which saw millions die in the Second World War. It is pure evil. Teachers to a small degree in this country, the UK, have taught this crap to our children, but the situation in the United States is far, far worse. Currently, 16 states have happily banned teaching of critical race theory in schools, but there are, of course, 50 states in the USA. Still a long way to go. So this brings me swiftly to the focus of this video, when theory manifests itself as truth and spills over into genuine race hate. A prominent Indian-born psychiatrist, Dr. Aruna Kilanani, ran a lecture titled The Psychopathic Problem of the White Mind. Can you imagine a lecture <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the same name but swap out white for black or brown? I'm sure you can imagine what would happen to the lecturer. OK, let's get back on track. According to a New York Times report, Dr. Aruna Kilanani was invited by Yale University's School of Medicine to give a talk at a weekly forum on mental health, which was staged online. In the lecture, Dr. Aruna Kilanani describes in graphic expletive-laden detail her fantasies of shooting white people dead. Dr. Aruna Kilanani is a forensic psychiatrist and psychoanalyst with her own private practice in New York. The racist online rant took place on April 6th this year, she detailed the futility of talking to white people about race, dismissing the exercise as a waste of breath. She recalled how her white therapist had called her anger and racism psychotic. In the lecture, Dr. Aruna Kilanani said, I had fantasies of unloading a revolver into the head of any white person that got in my way, burying their body and wiping my bloody hands as I walked away, relatively guiltless, with a bounce in my step, like I did the world a favour. As you can imagine, the Yale School of Medicine issued a statement in which it mentioned that several faculty members had expressed concern about the content of Aruna's talk. However, despite finding the tone and contents of the lecture not aligning with the institution's core values, a video of the lecture was still posted online by the university with access limited to members of the Yale community. A diatribe, sorry, a statement from the university went on. In deciding whether to post the video, we weighed our grave concern about the extreme hostility, imagery of violence and profanity expressed by the speaker against our commitment to freedom of expression. Now, can you imagine if the tables were turned and a white speaker full of vile and bile expressed such feelings and thoughts about non-white people? I know for sure that the video would never have been posted and the speaker would probably be arrested for stirring up race hatred. This crazy racist so-called doctor reacted to criticism by stating that my speaking metaphorically about my own anger was a method for people to reflect on negative feelings, to normalise negative feelings, because if you don't, it will turn into a violent action. So she, a so-called psychiatrist, wants people of colour to normalise their negative feelings towards white people, or those feelings will spill over into violence. That's basically what she's saying here. So she, a so-called psychiatrist, wants people of colour to normalise their negative feelings towards white people, or basically those feelings will spill over into violence. That's basically what she's saying here. OK, what now? Nothing, that's what. She got away with it. Now, I've said it in the past and I will say it again. I fully endorse free speech, unlike many on the left who wish to silence those voices who dare to speak out against the religion of woke. But I draw the line at inciting violence. 
and this hate fueled lecture can be seen as nothing more than an endorsement to violence. We need to stay alert, keep our eyes and ears wide open. We, the civilised, must stand against this hideously evil individual and those like her who want nothing more than to separate people, create division and create a two-tier society. We can no more stand for non-white racism than we can accept white racism. It's all bad. When and wherever you see or hear it, speak up. The silent majority need to wake up. Anyway, stay well, stay safe. The Conservative One, signing off. <laughs>